Earlier this year, Edinburgh Gadda Projects took over the Traverse Theatre to stage the UK premiere of Gadda Goes to War. Performed by Fabrizio Giffuni to a sellout audience is part of a wider initiative by the University of Edinburgh's Italian Studies. They want to promote, celebrate and help new audiences begin to understand the power of Italian writer Carlo Emilio Gadda. It's all about making his innovative and often intimidatingly complex work accessible because his message is still relevant today. The show was fantastic. Just sheer brilliance. Uh, Gifoni is a fantastic actor, so uh, <laughs> I, mean, I have to admire his skills. Um, what was particular about the text is uh, how contemporary this text reads nowadays. So much so that since I was not familiar with the details of the text, I thought at a certain point that there are additional bits and bolts to the original text. It looks like a story on Berlusconi so at a certain point rather than a story written decades ago. Uh, how contemporary uh, it was was incredible in its own right. And thinking that somebody could have written uh, a text like that um, decades ago and we read or listen to it today and think about people who are contemporary was an experience in its own right. Really great. The project's not just about the content of Gadda's work, but the very language he uses. Translating these Italian texts so full of dialect and wordplay into English is no mean feat. I think the um, translation of Gadda is an incredible challenge. I think translators would run a mile, probably, rather than get involved in a text like that. But of course, that as well is also its rewards, because it is so difficult. Um, it is something that is incredibly rewarding. Um, and then, of course, the wider public you know, are being encouraged to explore and um, you know, get to know an author who is far from well-known, even in Italy, I believe. But also, of course, it ensures that that whole you know, enthusiasm for the project is then transferred to the new generations. And I think that's a, that's a key aspect of any author's work and indeed of language as a whole. None of this would be possible without the support of sponsors. One of them is Vittoria's Restaurant, which supports both the Gadda Prize and the new Nicola Benedetti Scholarship Fund. By contributing £1 from every bottle of house wine they sell, they've raised nearly £6,000 in one year. It goes almost unnoticed but it certainly managed to pay for one person's studies for an entire year at Edinburgh University. And again, it's putting something back into the community. But we enjoy doing it and we enjoy taking part in the Gadda Prize. You hope that those children who are, uh, are taking part in the project, that one day they'll become you know, scholars, professors. And they'll have books on shelves as well because we need it to keep going. It cannot stop. You need people who take serious thought and get very deep. And these things are important. Those young people that are going there, you, know, you don't know where they're going to be in 25 years' time. That you know, They'll be making the headlines. Each year, the young writers of the best submissions from across Scotland and Italy are brought together for a writing, translation and performance workshop. One teenager who took part in a similar workshop a few years ago is Gadda Junior Prize winner Freddie Green. I think it has been life-changing for Freddie because... Number one, it was a talent up until then that we never really knew he had. So, you know, that in itself was, was exciting. Um, but it has also been something that he now writes on a regular basis. And I think it is something that he would definitely like to consider as a career. So, without a doubt, it has been incredibly influential in his life. It has um, encouraged him and given him a sense of self-confidence that I don't think he would have necessarily had. With competitions, lectures, translations, performances, discussions, workshops, a journal and plans to take the prize to Monte Cassino next year, Edinburgh Gadda Projects takes a lot of work. But for the organiser, it's all worth it. This is an author you could spend your entire life on. As the Italian Joyce, you can imagine, you know, the kind of challenge that it poses. I think that the passion for me comes from seeing the response of people and how I can undo a, a definite perception that they have of the unapproachable author. And instead, when you start working with students and young people and, you know, adults, all alike, actually, and see that actually they start saying, but wait, it does make sense, but wait, it can be read. Oh, yes, indeed, it can even be translated. One of my strongest mottos is, si può fare, it can be done. And seeing that it can be done together, for me, is the motivator. I do think that this is a strategic moment, but also a delicate 
and the sensitive one uh, for our subjects and hence we've got to pull out all the stops.